Hello, third grade. This is the second time of me making this video. The first time I was upside down, so that didn't work out. So we're going to try again. How are you? I miss you. I hope that you've been safe, staying warm, hopefully getting outside and playing some snow. Well, we still have to keep learning, right? So if you are watching this right now, we are going to do a quick um, introduction and um, do a little activity about alliteration. Maybe you have done a little bit with alliteration already in your language arts class. That would be great. Um, if so, this will go um, pretty quickly for you. And if not, no worries. It's just learning something new and that's what we love to do. So I have my Doodle Notes journal here with me. If you have yours, you can pause this, go grab your journal and something to write with and come back. If you don't have your journal, that's okay. No worries. Just get a piece of notebook paper or if you just think that you can remember it in your head, that's fine too. I just want you to be able to listen to this information so you can successfully play the quizzes below this video. Okay, let's go ahead and look at our journal. So I am on page 19 and it has the tiger on it. So I'm on page 19 with the tiger on it. So alliteration, you can see I've already filled it out because I tried to do that on the first video. And uh, I was trying to hold the phone, my phone, that's what I'm recording on. And right at the same time, it didn't look, it didn't turn out very well. <laughs> Hopefully you can read it. But it says alliteration is the repetition of the first consonant sounds in several words. That's spelled C-O-N-S-O-N. -O -O Sorry, I know that looks terrible. So alliteration is the repetition of the first consonant sounds in several words. Here's an example. We wander through the wild woods in search of wonder. So we wonder, wild, woods, wonder. There's another one down here. Sarah saw a silly seal on Saturday. So S, 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 right? It's the that consonant sounds. You might know Sally sold seashells on the seashore. Maybe you know Peter Piper picked a pickle pickle peppers. If Peter Piper picked a pickle pickle peppers, how many peppers did Peter Piper pick? That is a fun one. Over here, it challenges us to create an example I gave this to myself as homework because I am not happy with my examples. You can come up with your own or you can use mine if you want. Um, for L, I wrote Leo the lion leapt left for cover. I have four. It's not terrible. Um, down here, I have Karen Kangaroo kicked the ball to Kelly. I can't wait to hear what you guys have come up with. I bet they're really creative. I really enjoy this tiger's one down here. It's like a little poem. It reads, Tim the terrifying tiger tiptoes through tangled trees, his twitching tail thumping, his terrible teeth, his terrible teeth, terrifying turtles who tumble away. That's hard to say fast. Can you say it three times fast? Read that real fast to yourself. Tim the terrifying tiger tiptoes through tangled trees, his twitching tail thumping, his terrible teeth, terrifying. Well, oh, see. And it's hard. Just so you know, the only T's that really count in this as alliteration are those hard T's. Tim, terrifying, tiger. Not thumping, because that's not a hard T. So that one doesn't really count. I guess neither does through. But you have Tim, terrifying, tiger, tiptoe, tangled, trees, twitching, tail, terrible, teeth, terrifying, tumble. That's a lot. All right, if you, have, if you are able to, because you have your journal, if you flip it to the next page, if you don't, just listen so you know what to do later. Um, here's a challenge, an alliteration challenge, and it is it's pretty tough, but it's really cool in the end. Your goal is to, which you can just read the directions, but it's basically to come up with three different alliteration sentences. And the first, you're challenged with using the consonant sound T in, at the beginning of six words in your alliteration sentence. And then eight words that start with the letter S or this S sound. And 10 words in this one that start with um, the R sound, right? Er. So that those are your challenges. And you're basically making tongue twisters. And when we're together, we're going to partner up and you're going to try to um, 
you're going to try to tongue twist your partner because if they can't read it quickly without messing up, then they don't get the point, but you get the point. So it'll be really fun. We'll do that later. Okay. That is pretty much it. After you're done reading or after you're done watching this video, please scroll down and do the quizzes. There's another part of this lesson too for snow days. If you have time, you can do it. If not, it's okay. All right. I hope to see you on Wednesday. Bye.